people would fly across the room. And I automatically was like, hell no. Like, can I just go to your apartment? Like, I do not want to stay here. I saw, like, kind of the keys flying. Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Hey guys, so today I am doing another paranormal um, story time video, and um, this, basically this story time is, it's very scary, so I'm going to leave a disclaimer right here, right now. If you are scared easily, do not watch this video. If you are sensitive to um, this type of material, do not watch this video. And if you like all things scary, then continue watching. So, I moved into this apartment about a year and a half ago. And, you know, it was a... Uh, you know, it started out really good. You know, I loved it. And then all of a sudden, it started getting, like, really weird. So, you know, like, little things would happen. You know, I grew up in an environment where I encountered spirit activity all the time. And, you know, little things would happen where toilet paper would fly across the room. Or, like, my keys would be moved to a different place. My my keys would fly across the room. Um, that's another um, time where, you know, Keenan was here and he witnessed my keys fly across the room. Um, I'll leave that clip um, of him talking about that right here. My point, basically, my point of view when the, the keys flew basically against the wall. Um, I was sitting on the floor. I forgot who we were with. Um, I think there's two other people. Or maybe it wasn't. It was me, Steph, and uh, I think one of the other of her roommates. And, uh, and she, I was sitting on the floor, and as I was looking towards that way, as I was looking away, I saw, like, kind of the keys flying. I actually saw, saw them fly. And it was really weird because it kind of, like, it looks unreal, but it's not. Um, it, it looks kind of like, <laughs> it looks as if someone took, like, a little string and just went, like, to the wall. But it, it, at first you're like, oh, it, it doesn't seem real, but then you're like, yeah. Um, it, it freaked everyone out um, because it wasn't, you know, it's not normal for keys to fly across the table. So I... One night, I'm laying in bed, and this is when I used to room with my um, old, my very first roommate that lived with us while I was here. Um, and we're laying in our bed, and we just hear this like really creepy chanting, and it's like two o'clock in the morning, and we're like, "What the hell is that?" You know, so we're sitting, we're like laying there, we're like, what is that? And then, guys, weird stuff started happening after that. And like, these people would do this until 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, like almost every single night. And it was really weird. And things just started getting really weird. Scissors started flying across the room. Um... You know, I would hear, I started hearing, like, knocks and voices, and if you hadn't seen my um, other story time video, leave that one right down below. Um, and it was really weird. And then, one night I'm laying in bed, and, you know, my roommate's asleep, and... You know, I am on, I'm laying on my side, so if you, let me just show you really fast. Excuse the mess right now, but, so as you can see right now, I have the beds pushed together. But this bed right here, this one, it used to be where my nightstand is, which, as you can tell, is a mess right now. <laughs> but anyway, so it used to be like separated so my roommate slept in this bed over here and I slept in this bed so I was 
basically when I laid in bed, this is what my view is. So this is what I would see every single night, except the chair obviously wasn't there. So, and I'm, I'm going to show you something really fast. So, if our door to our bathroom isn't open all the way, so as you can see, I'm, I'm holding the door right now. So when I release it, it closes on its own because it's on incline. So when the door does that, like, it doesn't scare me. Okay, so, so now that you know what, like, the layout is, right, and you can see that my door is on an incline, so it closes by itself. So I'm sitting, I'm laying in my bed, and I'm facing the bathroom, and I am on my phone, and out of the corner of my eye, I see the bathroom door open, and I see the bathroom door, like, closed, like, all the way closed, and I was just like, oh my god, what am I seeing right now, and I just hear, it, like, start hearing, like, footsteps, like, like, you know when you drag your feet across the carpet, it, like, sounds like, like, you know, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just like you you hear that sound, right? So I heard that, and I automatically was like, hell no. And I, like, got up and, like, ran out of my room. I was like, forget this. No, I'm not staying here. And I'm surprised that my roommate didn't wake up. You know, like, she, she like, she's the lightest sleeper. I literally have ever met in my entire life. You could breathe wrong and she would wake up. Like, so when she didn't wake up to that, I was just like, how, how did you not wake up right now? And I was just like, I'm not staying here to find out what happens, you know? So, I was like, whatever. So this is during the summer when I, um, she had just moved out, and so I had my own room, and my other two roommates were back home, like, visiting their families. And so, I was laying in bed, and I had been terrified to stay in my apartment by myself because of what I saw and other stories that had happened to me um, that I'm not going to get into in this video. But if you want to know those other story times, leave a comment down below. And I will be sure to do those. So I was laying in bed again, and I asked my boyfriend at the time, like, stay on Skype with me. Like, please stay on Skype with me, like, all night. He lives kind of far away, so we didn't... Like, we couldn't just, like, get up and go to, like, each other's apartments. So I was like, please, like, just stay on Skype with me. And, and at least until I fall asleep. You know, because once you're asleep, you're, like, you're fine, you know? So he's like, okay, fine. So he's, like, playing League or whatever, and I'm sleeping, or I'm trying to fall asleep. And I'm in that state where, like, you're half, like, you're asleep, but you're alert, and you know what's, like, going on around you. And I hear him get off Skype. And I was like, whatever, I'm about to fall asleep anyway, so there was like, it doesn't matter if um, he hung up or not. No joke, right after he hung up that phone call, guys, it's like a hand or a claw or something came down, grabbed me by the hair, and pulled me up toward the wall. I flipped out. I was like, hell no, 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 I'm not dealing with this right now. So I call him back, and I'm like, somebody just grabbed my hair, please stay on Skype with me, like, I can't go back to sleep without you here, and he was just like, okay, calm down, like, I'll stay with you, you know. I was like, okay. So I end up falling back to sleep, and then he, the next morning, I woke up, and he was still on Skype, and I was like, why are you still on Skype, like, you never went to bed? And he was like, no, definitely. 
I was scared for your life. And I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, so when we were on Skype last night, you know, I started hearing a noise in the background. And I was like, what noise? He was like, I, I could have sworn I started hearing footsteps. Like someone was walking, like, from your bathroom. Oh, I'm getting, like, goosebumps just talking about this. Someone is walking, toward, like, from your bathroom to your bed, around your bed, and just pacing like that back and forth. And I was like, okay. And he was like, and... Then I started hearing like this staticky noise, and I was like, oh, Skype must be messing up. So I turned the volume all the way up, and he was like, Steph, it scared the crap out of me what I heard. And I was like, what did you hear? And he was like, I leaned in closer to the camera because I was hearing this noise, and then all of a sudden, I heard a sigh. <sighs> And it didn't come from you. It came from behind your computer screen. Like something was watching you while you were sleeping. And I was just like, oh, hell no. You know, I was just like, no, I'm leaving. And so I, like, I'm like, can I just go to your apartment? Like, I do not want to stay here. And he was like, yeah, sure. So I, like, drove an hour and a half to his house to spend, like, a week at his apartment because I was like, I can't, I just, I can't, like, I can't sleep here, you know, like, at least not by myself, and, or at least without, like, my roommates being here, and so, yeah, so, that was my paranormal experience, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below if you have any other suggestions, like this video, and subscribe, I love you guys, bye!